Well, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to the show. We are just getting our day started this morning. Yes, indeed, we are. We are still at the Flying J. And it is still kind of dark outside. Hopefully, you guys can see that. Yeah, you guys should be, uh, should be able to see that. So, yeah, like I said, we're just... Uh, we're just getting our day started, like I said, so uh, it is starting to drizzle up here a little bit, so I don't know if we're supposed to be getting any kind of rain or anything like that, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. We got to get uh, get going here in a little bit. I just finished uh, enter uh, all my uh, data into all my uh, files into my computer, basically, is what I might mean to say, and uh, now we're going to go ahead and hit the road. But first, before we do, let's thank our sponsor, Mr. Trucker Jukebox. He is sponsoring our channel, so I appreciate that very much. Uh, go check him out. He's got a YouTube channel as well, plus he's got a speaker radio channel. And I'll leave links in the description below and also a uh, up here on the top. I'll be leaving uh, uh, an icon there too, so you guys can go click on that and that will take you to his channel. So without further ado, Let's hit the road, guys. Just finished getting loaded, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I'm really, really happy about that. Now we got uh, 800 uh, kilometers to go till we get to Toronto, which is 500 miles, which we can get there tonight. That shouldn't be any problem. Didn't take too super long to get loaded here, about an hour. I want to say an hour and 15 minutes or something like that so it wasn't too bad it was pretty good weights look good i'm not having to worry about being overweight to the right on looking on my gauge north. i'm bang on the money probably about 33,500 pounds is what i'm thinking on my drive so should be bang on the money yeah that's right so In now let's see to the right on I 695 how long it's going to take us to get up to Toronto we'll obviously have to make a pit stop somewhere down the road and uh, I'll probably want to not sure if I didn't really I don't really need fuel but I need a shower right so I'm going to see if I can maybe find me a loves and uh, get me some go-go juice anyways and then uh Go take a shower, right? That's kind of what I'm looking for. I'm way overdue again for a shower, but couldn't really find a loves yesterday, so had to, uh, you know, wait till today, I guess. We'll see what we can find. Look at here, guys. We are now in Harrisburg, PA, I believe it is. And uh, I'm going to make me a little bit of a detour. I was uh, checking it out and there really isn't any loves that's actually right on my route so I'm gonna have to make me a slight little detour and that's exactly what we are doing right now I'm gonna be uh, going up to this loves truck stop up here that's about 12 miles down the road but I need a shower I really do well, I guess this lane is ending, so I better better move her over into this lane, right? Man, it's a little bumpy up here. Or <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to go over there to the loves, take me my half an hour break, and get me a good shower. Yes, indeed. And it's kind of getting a little bit cloudy. I don't know if we're going to get some rain or what, but... It's 19 degrees Celsius, so it's not really... I don't think it's going to be snowing anytime soon up in this area. Way too warm for that to happen. But anyhow, let's get on down there and uh, get to... Oh man, this is rough. Oh my goodness. I don't know why they can't make it a little bit smoother than this road, you know, but... Yes, that's just how it is. Well, I don't see that, end, that lane ending anytime soon, but they keep saying it's ending. I guess they just want to warn you way in advance. 
You know, they got three errors up here saying the lane is ending. Oh, it's landing over here somewhere. And everybody's trying to, you know, go in front of everybody, of course. Anyhow, let's go over to the loves and take a shower and do all them good things that need to be done, right? Just finished uh, taking me my much needed shower. Man, that feels good. If you've ever been in those situations where you haven't had a shower in a couple of days and you finally got one, man, that feels good. I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh yes, I do. So, here we go. Now we're going to get back to that 81, 83 northbound and uh, I'm taking a little bit of a different route this time. Uh, GPS is routing me a little bit different I guess so uh, that's exactly what we're gonna do and I already got me a reload offer which I have gladly accepted which is a uh, load out of Toronto going back home well the load is going to Alberta but uh, I'm just bringing it back to the yard so that is awesome I like that I like that a lot so I have some awesome news for you guys because that is going to happen like that uh, most likely it will be home Monday morning sometime and then I'll take off till Wednesday and because of that it will allow me to uh, to uh, take my wife with me are you guys excited to see my wife back in the truck guys I sure hope you guys are I really do and if you are leave me a big fat thumbs up leave me a comment below saying that you would love to see my wife in the truck again it's been since Christmas since uh, the last time she's been with me so uh, we'll be doing a short trip and then right after that I'll be going to the truck show in Louisville. That's right. So you guys have some awesome videos to look forward to that are coming up. I sure hope so anyways. I hope I can uh, produce some awesome footage. But yeah, that's what's going down, guys. That makes me super, super excited. Can't wait to, you know, it's going to be too quick for the next three weeks basically or or you know two and a half weeks anyways till they're all gone and then oh man all the fun is going to be gone again but oh well but that's what I talk about all the time you know when you have a bad day you always got to remember that there will be better days coming up eventually and that's what it looks like it's going to be happening now the only problem that I'm running into I'm not saying this is actually going to be a problem for me but uh, right now Canada has banned all airplanes that are the uh, Boeing uh, 7, 737 MAX 8 and 9 models and I haven't heard that uh, the airline that I'm going to be flying with is uh, using those kind of planes but Air Canada and WestJet I heard they're using those so uh, it might be a little bit of a str struggle to fly but we'll see we'll see anyhow let's get on down the road and make our way to Toronto we got about 400 miles more to go so yeah let's strap your seat belts and let's go well guys I am now on the 390 already I've been going for a good while just giving her and it was pretty nice and sunny there for a good while but now all of a sudden it's starting to get cloudy I don't know what's up with that but hey that's what it is hmm that's a weird smell I guess this farmer is using, or this person is using some sort of farmer manure, I think they call it, to put on this field, I guess, to get a better crop. And that thing smells. Oh. <laughs> 
Yep, that's right. Anyhow, we're just cruising right down the road here, enjoying our day so far. At least we don't have any road closures that I know of up here in this area. Not like they had up there in Fargo. The roads only opened there, uh, I think 10 or 11 o'clock this morning. They were closed since yesterday already. And I know my cousin and a few of my friends were sitting up in that area waiting for the road to, to open up, right? Because they had that massive snowstorm that went through there. And so, yeah. What a day over there and what a nice day over here, right? We're sitting right now still at plus 12 degrees Celsius and just uh, enjoying our drive, right? We still have 210 miles to go till we get to uh, uh, Hamil uh, Mil Milton. I, I always want to say Hamilton, but it's Milton. And we'll drop this trailer there and then uh, head on down to Toronto and pick up our load probably tomorrow. I have now made it into Mississauga, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed I did. Yeah, we went across the border and uh, it started getting really windy and rainy and stuff like that. It was uh, getting dark real quick, so I didn't really turn the camera on anymore. But hey, we finally got down to the terminal and uh, dropped our trailer and then uh, I bobtailed over to uh, Master Stake here in Mississauga and uh, so this is where I'm gonna be spending the night at and uh, I didn't show you guys the steak but I had me a really really good steak in here this uh, this evening so uh, with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and close off the show for today I do really appreciate you guys tuning in for another show and uh, we'll be back tomorrow so uh, come back and check out what we're up to tomorrow so thank you very much for watching and we'll see you back here tomorrow have a great day everybody